Hey there everybody, welcome to another guide video. I've got a video out today about all the graffiti tag spots out in the world. And what I mean by graffiti tag, I mean the actual like art. I guess the graffiti art in the world. So if you've been having trouble finding all the different art pieces that you can use in your sprays, I've got you, I'm here to help. We're gonna be going from place to place. So those of you who are trying to find certain ones that you're missing in certain areas, then you can skip ahead. But overall, I'm going to go through each area in the game and show off the pieces that are in each area. Just as a forewarning, there are a couple of them that I accidentally grabbed in my other playthrough. So uh, when I come up to those, I'll kind of give you guys the best description and I'll kind of show you a screenshot of as well of where to find them. But uh, all right, let's go ahead and get into it. Thanks for watching. Oh yeah, one last thing, I wanted to give a big shout out to both Fido and I believe Blade X anarchy on steam for helping with this guide they made a really really nice 100 percent location guide for all the collectibles in the game so if you're more text based go check them out but if you want a more video instructive way then i've got you but yeah i wanted to shout out the community everyone's been coming together putting these guides together it's been amazing but all right let's get to it all right so here we are at the first spot this one's called stacked symbols and it's right here in the hideout as you can see where I'm at, it's just above the BMX garage. You take those rails up here, walk around, and under this staircase, you've got the first one. Stack symbols. All right, we're still here at the hideout, and uh, the next one is going to be up this uh, light pole here. You want to grind up and then jump off, head over to the right, and you've got this red one here that's called Blocky. So if you're looking for Blocky, there you go. Moving on here at the hideout, we've got this indoor spot where you'll be later on in the story here and there, but you can get here anytime. You're going to want to go ahead and uh, first turn off this song because it's terrible. Uh, and then <laughs> behind this, um, this couch here, there's a secret slide spot. Some people, you might have been having trouble finding this graffiti tag as well. But yeah, you've got this art here and this one's called Infinity. So if you're missing this one, there you go. And there's also a tag here too. All right, in the same room, uh, once you leave that little area, I mean, you can grab it before if you want, if you saw it, but you got this one here next to the big bowl, and it's called Vibrations. All right, so now we're in Verzum Hill, and as you leave the hideout, head down the street, you're going to see this little overpass, and you want to go ahead and jump across through the glass, and you'll find the graffiti spray here, and this is Pico Pau. Next one here at Verzum Hill is the one that you'll get after defeating the first Frank or whichever order you do in. One of the Franks will drop this one down below, as you can see on the map where I'm at, in the lower section by the hill. And it's this uh, tealish blue one. It's called Zona Lesti. Okay, we've got another one here at Verzum Hill. This one is from another Franks challenge. I believe this is the Multiplier Challenge one. After you defeat him, he'll show you where to grab this one and it is floating right there in the center. Let's see if I can get this first try. There you go. This is v Vom... Vom? <laughs> Vom, there you go. We've got a spot here at Verzum Hill that has a graffiti spray. It's inside this robot challenge. If you don't know how to do this challenge, I have a video out on how to do all the Verzum Hill robot challenges. So go check that out if you need to, but we've got another tag here and this one is called Buttercup. All right, if you can see where I'm at on the map here at Verzum Hill, it's towards the uh, the center area, kind of near the train station. Uh, you're gonna see this glass and there's a graffiti right behind it, uh, a spray. So you're gonna wanna go ahead and boost through. Uh, you don't, if you can't, if you don't have boost meter, you can build up boost meter just by doing tricks during your slide. And then once you do, you can burst through, and there is the JD Villa Formosa. All right, so this is one of the ones that I grabbed by accident during my playthrough, but it's here. It's also part of the Frank's uh, challenges that you do when you first get to Verzum Hill. But it's going to be sitting up here. I believe you have to jump over and grab it either there or from the rail. But it's going to be this graffiti tag, which is called messenger mural that's what you're gonna find here okay we've got one hidden under the uh, little overpass here as you can see it's located down there under the the pass thing you're gonna want to slide off of your gear and it should take you all the way to it and that is headphones on helmet 
All right, the next one is located down here in the underground bazaar. If you want to look where I'm at on the map, I'm going to be heading down this way. So I'll see you down this way in a second. Okay, we got another one. Here we go. It is in this bottom area of Verzum Hill, this little outdoor bazaar. You're going to want to take the snake head up, and you can see it up there by the billboard. So what we're going to do is we're going to ride the snake all the way, cross over with a jump, and you're going to want to jump off here into the billboard. You can be on your on your gear if you want. And there it is. That is GameX Upa ABL. Now that we're over here at Millennium Square, we've got another location here on my map towards the mint, the middle of Millennium Square, sorry. Uh, you're going to go ahead and run through this glass here with another boost. And as you can see, there's a dumpster here. Give it a little kick and it'll spit out the spray, which is... Shogun. Next up, we've got another graffiti spray at the very top of this billboard spiral, and I'm gonna show you how to get up there. You're gonna want to go ahead and jump up this ramp, boost over, and then you're gonna start going up around this spiral by jumping and then jumping over and over. You're gonna angle your boosted jump to hit the billboard that's upcoming, and then you'll get up here easy enough. And there it is. That is Color Bomb. So the next one's a little tricky to get to, but you want to leave this spot here that we're at. You're going to go ahead and jump down, and we're going to make it over to that one spray graffiti tag that you need to get during the story that the Frank is trying to make you do. And so you can just jump over these buildings, get to this point here, and then do a boosted jump. And there you are, you are at the graffiti tag here. If you can't do that jump, or if that's too difficult, I do have another video of um, my getting lost in Amsterdam, and it should let you know how another way to get up here. But yeah, this is how you find this tag, and this is called Fora, so that's the tag Fora. Next up here at Millennium Square, we've got another graffiti spray, and you're going to want to go back up this vert in the middle, head over this way, and you see this rail right here. You can go ahead and take it if you'd like, but you want to hop over. And there is another spray right here by this billboard. So try to be careful here because you can fall off. But go ahead and grab it. And it is Gold Rush. We're still here at Millennium Square. We've got another graffiti spray. And this one's located over here. There's a uh, vert that you could go up on this side. And uh, pretty straightforward. You just go straight up and grab it. Skate or die. That's the, uh, the tag here. As you can see, the mall is behind me, so that's the entrance that I'm near. But this next spray is located right behind this porta potty up here. If you didn't know this one was up here, if you go behind it, behind this door, there's one located right there. Uh, it seems that you can't grab it unless you go in. Uh, I'm a little dedicated though, so I'm going to do my little trick here to jump over. And that is Mega Hood. So if you're missing Mega Hood, that's how you get it. All right, so at the very top of the Millennium Mall, you're going to be up here on the very top floor by the fishes near the dance pad, the, the cypher, if you will. You can see where I'm at here at the map. There's a little uh, gate here that you can slide under, and if you smack that vending machine, you'll get a graffiti spray, and this one is Thick Candy. Again, here at the top floor, just outside the sliding gate, we've got another one that I believe you get from one of the challenges when you first meet the .exe boys. And this one is Campaign Trail. So if you're missing Campaign Trail, they should show you where that is whenever you finish that challenge. And I'll go ahead and show you what it looks like. It's this one right here. Okay, another one here at Millennium Mall by the Red Fish is uh, that floating blue one up there. You're going to want to go ahead and hop on the fish in the middle, transfer over to this swirling licorice looking thing, and then jump off. And once you go over, you'll grab Deep Dive. I believe this is another challenge graffiti spray that you get from the .exe uh, boys. I think this is like the score one maybe, but yeah. Okay, where you can see where I am here on Millennium Mall, just outside of this entrance here. You're going to go take this rail to the left, and I believe this is another challenge one that they leave behind. But this one is right bef between these billboards, and this is Moai Marathon. Okay, so now I'm in front of this bike garage here, and as you can see where I am here on the map, we are still at Millennium Mall, and we're going to go ahead and jump across this way. I think this is another 
challenge from the .exe boys. You want to hop up here, and then you've got Second Sight. All right, so I've moved over in Millennium Mall to the area where the .exe boys go to their hideout, this little stage place that you want to go to. Uh, I'll show you the map one more time where I'm at compared to where the middle area is. But once you get here, you want to go all the way up to the top floor, and you're going to see this orange gate here. So I jump over, slide through, and then we've got a spray tag called 0M33. All right, we're still in the same area. We're a little bit closer to the middle. We're still on the top floor, and in between these billboards, you're going to see another spray up there in between them. So we're going to jump across. Try to get up higher on the board to help yourself here. And if you have to readjust, go for it. But there you go. That's Raver Funk. There's the tag. Okay, we're still in the same area at the bottom floor now. Uh, this is where you see the .exe boys dancing on the stage before you do their challenge. And uh, just on the left, around this corner, there's another uh, spray here. And this one is Pius. Pius? There it is. All right, so now we are on the central area of the mall where you first enter from uh, Millennium Square. We are at the top section. This is where uh, Vinyl, I believe, she sends you over through this warehouse entrance. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to head all the way over to the, the final like area of this little warehouse section. And down here, there is another spray that you need to get off of your gear and slide through. And you'll grab it. And that one is called Noisy Ninja. Very cool. Now that you've left that warehouse section, you come back through this area, and there's actually another one down this way. You can see the uh, graffiti spray right in that little window. So what you want to do is just hop on the rail, you know, balance your, your jump pretty well, and then go over to it, and there it is, Web Fitter. And I believe that's the last one we've got here at Millennium Mall. So let's go ahead and move on over to Brink Terminal next. Now that we've made it to Brink Terminal, we've got our first spray here at the Silly Slapper Challenge. I've got a video out on all, how to do all the Silly Slapper Challenges here in Brink Terminal. But yeah, once you enter here, it's going to be located behind the, uh, the teleporter thing. And this one is called Bomb Beat. Okay, I believe this next one is the uh, Eclipse multipl uh, Multiplier Challenge. Once you finish that challenge, they'll show you where this one's at. But if you want to see real quick, here it is on the map. And yeah, once you get up here from just taking one of these side rails, you can just jump over and grab it. And there it is. It's Spray Tanic Panic. <laughs> Spray Tanic Panic. There it, there it is. Cool. The next one we're going to grab here at Brink Terminal, I believe, is the score challenge for the Eclipse Girls. And what you're going to want to do is go over to this part of the map near the ravine near the, the little sewage waste thing here. And you're gonna wanna hit the rail, jump up, go across, go on the billboard, and there it is. This one is B-Boy Love. Okay, I believe this is the other Eclipse Girl Multiplier Challenge. This one's gonna be floating right there in the center of this uh, lower section. And you can see where on the map where I'm at. This one might be a little tricky, it might take a couple tries, but keep at it, I'm sure you'll grab it eventually. But you're gonna want to head up this rail, jump across, and then you're gonna want to, you know, time your jumps pretty well, and then grab it on the way down. This one's called Freaks. Very cool looking one. Okay, we've got another one on top of this yellow bus thing here. We're still at Brink Terminal. It's right by the ravine again, uh, by this section here. This is how I do it. So you're gonna want to hop on the rail, hop on the street lamp. And you're going to want to jump over to the billboard. And then from there, turn your jump over, boost jump, and you grab it. This one's called Fate. But yeah, that's how I do it. So yeah, this is spawning season. This is the one that I grabbed in originally. And yeah, you're going to want to go ahead and follow me. It's a little tricky to get here. I had already grabbed it. But you're going to want to go on this rail and take this top rail upside down. And once that leads you this way... You can go up the vert, take the billboard, and then hop on this rail here. So once you do all that, you're pretty much in the clear. You're going to make your way over. You don't have to worry about anything here. And you jump down, and then that'll take you to spawning season, which is right here. 
All right, so we've got another one here. This one's a bike garage that you need to get into. So make sure that you're on a character that has a bicycle. And uh, here we are on the map, if you want to see. Here I bring terminal. And so yeah, all you have to do is just go up, park in front of the spot until it turns green. And then once the animation plays or the door opens, that should lead you to our next prey, which is this one right here. And that one is Fang It Up. Okay, so the final one here at Brink Terminal is the one you see floating up here by this vert. The way to get up here is simple. You, Where you go and chase down the Eclipse girls and you go to their big tower, you're going to want to enter this little garage here. Or entrance, rather. Jump up. And then take the rail over to this vert section. So you're going to want to jump up here, make the transfer. And then, you know, just kind of go for it. And then once you grab it, there it is. Telebinge. That is Telebin. All right, so we've made it to Pyramid Island. We're over here by this uh, cipher pad. And as you can see where I am on the map, I'm kind of in the area where you start doing all of the tricks and stuff against the uh, the devils. But there is a uh, spray on top of this roof right here. And so the way that I get up there is I go ahead and get on my gear, do a boost and try to get some speed here and then boost over. And simple enough, there it is. This one is called Devil 68. Moving down from that cypher pad over there, you head this way and there's another one. I believe this is from another challenge against the devils. And this one's relatively simple to get as well. You just go ahead and take the vert up, boost over to the rail, and then easy enough you'll grab it. And this one's called Pirate's Life for Me. And without having to move too far away from the last one, we've got two back-to-back -back on the same level, as you can see where I'm at on the map. After finishing another challenge, uh, a score challenge, I believe, against the Devils, you have to jump into this little area here. And there's another one called Lauder. So there it is, Lauder. All right, after you finish getting Lauder, you jump back up. And then you're going to want to, this is how I do it to get this next one. You want to jump on the rail, on the billboard, then do a boost and jump to get up here. As you can see, there's a uh, spray on that building over there. So we're going to want to jump down. And then you're going to want to do a boosted jump to get to this last one. And there it is. That is Wild Rush. Very nice. But yeah, sorry, I didn't mean to say last one. We still got a couple more here. But, but yeah, there's Wild Rush. All right, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to get two of them back to back in this bottom area. So you're, if you have this teleporter available, then go ahead and use it so you can get back higher in the level. And I'm going to go ahead and walk you through what I do. You can also, you know, you've used the taxi, you can use that to get up here uh, and then just uh, make your way down. But we're back here at this vert with this cypher pad. And what you want to do is you want to jump over to this building with the solar panels. And you've got, um, you've got one around this corner here, as you can see it. So we're going to go ahead and grab that real quick. And that one is called Boom. Very cool. But yeah, there's another one that's up and it's elevated in this area. And uh, what I like to do is I like to do my little kick jump because that makes you go up higher after you do a kick jump. Hopefully you don't smack the, the vending machine like that. But now we're back up on this, this level and you're gonna go ahead and wanna do a boost jump to get over here and that leads to this area where you can see another spray out in the distance. And this one is called Bomb Croc. So those are two back-to-back -back ones you can get pretty easily. Okay, I believe this is another one that you get from the Devils. It's a score challenge, and it's earlier on in the level. You're going to go ahead and take this rail and jump off the billboard. You can also do another jump to make it to this one, and then it's right there. This one's called Bomb Burner. Very nice. We've moved on over to Matan, and the first one that I want to show you guys is the Silly Slapper Challenge. Uh, the one that's right here located on the beginning area of Matan. I do have a video out on all the Silly Slapper Challenges in Matan, so if you're having trouble with them, go check that out. But yeah, this one leads you to this uh, spray, and this one is End to End. So if you're missing that one, there you go. We've got a next one up here at Matan. Here I am on the map, still pretty early on. You get past the first uh, poison gas thing that Futurism has up. 
And once you get up here, you're going to see a lot of little houses, a little shopping district or anything like that. I'm not sure exactly, but you're going to want to hop on this rail. And the easiest way to get up there is to take the billboard up there. Do like a higher jump to get up higher. And then once you're on top of these roofs, you want to jump over and you'll see the graffiti spray right here. And this one is Teddy 4. So after getting the Teddy graffiti spray, you're going to want to head and look around the corner. You're going to see a bull there. So go ahead and jump over and try to get on this rail. And you're going to follow these three bull heads leading all the way over here. And you're going to want to jump to the right right here. It's a little dark, so it's kind of hard to see. But there is a platform with a tag, uh, a tag spot. But there is a graffiti spray across. So you're going to want to make sure you have boost, boost over. And sure enough, you'll land it, and that is Voodoo Boy. Okay, so you can see those little shops over there that we were at. You make it across the three moving bull heads, and once you make past that area, there's a little rail right here that you can take. Uh, and you want to take it down, or you can just jump down like this. Hit the billboard, and you're going to see a bunch of dumpsters. So just go ahead and check them. And one of these should spit out our next spray, which is right there. And that one is Motorcycle Gang. So now we're over here by the strip of Matan. I'll show you on the map where we're at. The, the next couple I'm going to show you are the score challenges that you do against Futurism when you're here. This first one is located right there as they show you in the little cinematic. This one's called uh, Street Classic. Alright, and now I'm over here by the taxi spot, also where you find Coil later in the, in the game. But uh, after you finish the score challenge, you're going to take this rail down here and it should show up near this billboard. So you're going to want to do a billboard run and make a pretty precise jump to grab it. This one's called Big Shiny Bomb. Very cool looking one. All right. And the other score challenge one you have to do is floating up there by those billboards. So um, you're going to want to take this rail and go off of those billboards. But to show you where I am on the map, I'm kind of near the beginning of the strip again. And uh, so, yeah, you're going to go ahead and jump over, keep, keep your momentum up, keep jumping, and then you're going to go ahead and jump towards it. And there it is. This one's called Record Head. Kind of reminds me of Chainsaw Man. Okay, so leaving that last one where the billboards were, you're going to go on this uh, overpass and lead up to the uh, XXX area. The, the the nightlife the night red district whatever you want to call it <laughs> um but yeah you're gonna head this way and remember that the old heads are blocking this area you need a good amount of rep to get here but once you get enough rep to get up here you're gonna go up that vert cross over with this air vent and don't bother getting on the rail just go ahead and stay on the ground down here and if you make the corner that'll take you to bomb universe there is bomb universe okay and there you have it those are all the graffiti sprays that i could find throughout the game there are a couple more left as you, i'll show you on the screen here but these are the ones that you get for defeating the different crew battles in the post game you get their crew uh tags if you want those as well so those are the only tags left to get. Uh, obviously, I couldn't throw those in here because I would have to do the whole challenge and everything. But yeah, those are the only ones left to get. If you've got everything else, if you follow this guide, I'm sure you'll be fine. Thank you again to Fido and Blade X Anarchy over on Steam for their detailed review and guide that they put out. I'll go ahead and leave a description. I'll leave a link in the description about their guide over on Steam. So again, thank you so much. It's really cool to see the community come together and put out these guides because some people learn better through videos. So I hope this one helped. But if not, you've got the um, the more um, you know descriptive guide that you can find online. But yes, thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a comment. Subscribe to me if you haven't. I've got more videos in the works. Uh, and I've got a plenty of other videos if you don't know how to unlock certain characters, if you don't know how to finish certain challenges. I've got a lot of videos on Bomb Rush Cyberpunk out. So support me, you know, go hang out in the other videos. Let me know how I did. But enough of all that. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.